over the course of the last few months, um, I have uh, I've been I've been thinking about this for for a while um, in terms of like I might have to get a job like a job job um, like be employed by somebody else kind of a job and you know in the beginning of the pandemic I was like I get I mean there's there's really nothing available and um, I didn't really know what I was going to do so I kind of shifted everything to doing these videos the, these ranty videos um, and I was noticing like you know every people were having a tough time so that's why I was going to do the check-ins as I'm doing now to just kind of encourage people to be open about what they're going through because I was open about what I was going through and you know a lot of people came through to help uh I I received an overwhelming amount of kindness that I I I genuinely wasn't expecting and it floated me through right like like the the sustaining memberships the donations um, and then eventually doing the, the, the shows that became weekly shows, um, we're all, we're all doing well. And, you know, and then I hit that burnout point and, and it sucks because like really what I was doing, like I wanted to do those shows. I wanted to figure out how to, how to continue doing comedy and, and, and still making a living doing comedy on a virtual setting. Um, but and I gave half of what I made to various grassroots organizations uh, that I thought was doing good work, that was doing important things. A bunch of them were mutual aids that were trying to help communities, especially at a time when the government really doesn't seem to be giving a shit about it. Um, and I and I was doing okay, but the inevitability was I'm I'm going to need to you know find some alternative form of employment it, you know being that this is a long term thing like what's happening with this pandemic is going to go on for much longer than what any of us ever anticipated and that's even from the beginning right like my estimates were oh, okay we're going to see a wave 2 but there might be a window of opportunity in August or September that I'll be back on the road even if it is for a short period of time and and then very quickly you know that notion disappeared and now I'm I'm thinking like next August is when really things will kick back up you know um, we might we might see some some people feeling a little bit more comfortable in June or July but I really don't see and this is me being very very optimistic about next fall you know end of summer next fall is really when things are going to kick back up on a um on a level where everybody's feeling comfortable coming out to be a part of any sort of live experience so with that in mind with the fact that i've i've got you know uh a change in my living circumstances, which honestly would have happened anyway, because you know there's there's members of my family that don't take this thing as seriously, and my my dad happens to be one of them, and you know if if you if you've known me long enough or or listened to my stand up, like my dad and I don't get along very well, um, and you know eventually like I would have I would have moved out anyway and been in the current living situation living um, living situation that I'm in now. Where the, the house that I'm in now is probably where I would have landed anyway. Um, so I've got that. I've got these bills to pay the, for my car and everything. Uh, and just living expenses. And I tried to, like, maintain what I had, right? Like, some of you guys know that I take care of this elderly lady. Um, and even that, to me, was... Uh, I know my face just got super glowy because of the sunlight, but... Uh, even that to me was was kind of taking a step backwards from where I was and now we're taking another step backwards because this is very much where I was in like 2013 2014 where um, you know the, the the story of that is I got fired from a job I went on unemployment and I basically decided that I was gonna just spearhead into comedy as much as I could 
and I and I got some headway, but it was like not enough of a headway uh, that I could sustain my you know like my entire livelihood just off comedy. So I was like, okay, I'll get a part time job, and I did. I got a very flexible, really cool and fun part time job um, that was very understanding of my comedy touring schedule. Uh, and allowed me to tour, allowed me to come back and work these flexible hours. Um, but I still didn't like having, you know, this other thing that I had to do, that I had to commit to, uh, on a daily basis that I was at home, that I couldn't just produce comedy. Like I couldn't just do comedy and sustain myself. And it irked me. And, you know, I finally got to that point where the, the work environment was, changing and kind of getting a little bit more toxic because the the people that were cool and good and understanding of what was going on with everybody's schedule uh were were all getting pushed out of of the of of the company anyway and that's when i would say around like maybe 2015 was really when i when when i just fucking went full ham into comedy and and have been making a living and paying my bills doing comedy so because I don't have that right now um, I'm I'm going to end up getting a, a, some kind of a part-time job uh, I, I'm not entirely sure what exactly that's going to be I know I've spent a, a good chunk of this video kind of giving this update but I felt like it's important uh, to talk about this because you know I I know there's some dedicated viewers to these to, to uh, whatever platform you're watching me on uh youtube um rockfin facebook whatever it is and basically what that will do is if i do end up getting this second part-time job in order to sustain uh just keeping on top of my financial situation i'm going i'm not going to have the opportunity to make as much content and provide as much commentary and do as many creative things as I possibly want to. So that's coming down the pipeline. Um, I've already kind of, you know, I think I think my brain was a little defensive about taking this part-time situation as is. Uh, just because it's it's not what I've wanted to, to do. I've... I've, I've I have worked really hard at making comedy my full-time job. I've worked really hard hustling and, you know, touring across this country for the better part of a decade uh, and and making that my employment, being self-employed through, the, through, through comedy and through the people that have believed in what I'm doing. Um, so I, I figured it would be it would be important to talk about this uh, in this context, there's really no escape from this sunlight at all, uh, on this bridge. (laughs) Um, but, uh, I, 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 you know, I, I thought it was important because you guys have supported me through all this and, uh, to, to know what's going on, uh, with these channels, why the videos might be decreasing from, you know, uh, four to 10 videos in a week to like two to three, you know, uh, it's important for you, for you guys to know why. Um, obviously, if the financial situations for me change and I'm able to use comedy to supplement my uh, income completely, uh, that would be a game changer for sure. Uh, but right now, that's that's per- not particularly happening. Um, if you want to, there's there's links to make contributions become a sustaining member of donations and all of those are incredibly appreciated uh you know and things are kind of changing in terms of uh my personal life a lot as well uh and like i said there's really no end like i don't i don't know when the end of this this pandemic is really going to be i see this going further and those are going to be some of the topics of discussion over the course of the week um that i'm that i'm going to talk about in these videos uh but yeah it's 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 not the first decision I, uh, decision that I wanted to make. I resisted it. I tried to come up with various different ideas and um, different ways to, to make comedy. I'm still going to do virtual shows um, and, and, and kind of m- prioritize them to the best of my ability. 
Um, but it it became difficult to continue to do that. Uh, so that's that's part of the reason why, you know, I gotta I gotta you know pay the bills, and, and unfortunately that's gonna mean that I'm gonna have to take some kind of a part time job. I don't know what that's gonna be exactly. I put in some applications. We'll see what comes out of it, and uh, and we'll go from there. Um. Yeah, it's it's difficult because I don't want to I don't want to take that step backward, and uh, and I'm gonna have to. And it's it's it was it it was a difficult decision for me to make, um, because it it also kind of meant that you know, uh, as much as this channel has progressed over the course of the last year alone, um. I'm already stifled as it is, and I'm one of the lower content creators, and, and the opportunity for me to, like, push forward and gain um, newer viewers and all that kind of stuff is is a little stifled, and that really sucks. Um, but uh, it's got to be what, the, the way that it is for right now. I, I don't think it's a, it's a permanent thing. It's going to suck. I'm going to be tired again a lot more. <laughs> Not that I wasn't tired already, but there were other other mitigating circumstances why I was tired over the last couple of years a lot and why my content suffered. And I was finally getting back on track of like putting out regular content. I was really fucking excited about it. Um, but, uh, you know, I got to I got to take care of some financials. And uh, and unfortunately, that means, you know, decreasing the amount of stuff that I will be able to put out uh, and. Uh, you know, uh, hopefully when all this ends, people will still come out to see live shows and it won't be a total start or restart of, uh, of the touring days. Um, Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed the content in this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. My content is highly suppressed because this is not topics of conversation that, uh, that the corporate mainstream media really wants to, to, to address here. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Uh, sign up for my email list. Uh, and that way you'll get weekly uh, uh, emails with all of the podcasts and all of the videos that I put out there. Um, and make sure you go to my website and follow me there, uh, krishmohanhaha.com. That's going to be your one-stop shop for all things Krish Mohan. That's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. See you in the next video.